My name is Chen Li, and I am an assistant professor at Johns Hopkins University. This is our recent study on cockroach-inspired winged robot, revealing the principles of ground-based dynamic self-writing. Animals are amazing locomotors. In a recent study, we discovered that cockroaches can quickly traverse cluttered obstacles such as grass-like beams by quickly rolling their body to the side to maneuver through narrow gaps. By contrast, our small-legged uh, robots that run very well on open ground cannot deal with such obstacles very well. It, instead of rolling, often turns to the left or right and becomes stuck. Inspired by uh, the streamlined shape that reduce drag in fluids, I hypothesize that maybe this rounded shape found in cockroaches and many other insects is pterodynamically streamlined and can reduce resistance in cluttered terrain as opposed to the highly angular shape found in this robot and many others. After confirming our hypotheses through animal experiments, we then added this simple rounded shell to our robot and enabled it to traverse cluttered obstacles without adding any sensors or changes in control. This is all very good, but sometimes the robot would roll too much and flip over and cannot recover because obviously the shell is stable when upside down, whereas the animal sometimes flip over as well, but they can always very quickly recover. So this got me interested in studying how animals ride themselves from upside down. Through animal studies, we found that the animal's multifunctional wings not only serve for protection and obstacle traversal when closed, but they can open their wings to right the animals. And this provides us with a new biological inspiration. So in this study, we simply cut the shell in half and developed a novel four-bar transmission and added actuators so that now we have a robot that can open its wings much like the animal does. Now with our robot as a physical model, we can then systematically vary parameters such as the speed and magnitude of the wing opening to understand the principles of ground-based dynamic self-writing. What we found is that when the wing opening is small or slow, the robot fails to self-write as you see here. However, if we increase the wing opening or make it faster, then the robot can write successfully. So through systematic variation of both the magnitude of the, and the speed of the wing opening, we measured the probability as well as time that it takes for the robot to write and discovered that as both magnitude and speed increases, the robot uh, writing performance increased, uh, namely higher probability and smaller writing time. We also collaborated with Chad Kessens at Army Research Lab to study the role of wing shape by using a planar geometric model that he developed. We vary the height of the wing while keeping the length of the wing, wing fixed and calculated the wing opening required for self-writing for each uh, wing height. Uh, so what you see here is a curve that separates two regimes. If you have wing opening or wing height that falls above this curve, then you can write quasi-statically, meaning you don't need any kinetic energy. But if you fall below this curve, then you must write dynamically. What we found is that for the cockroach and robot, given how much they can open their wing and their wing height relative to their wing length, they both fall below this curve. So this means that both the cockroach and the robot that we studied must ride dynamically using kinetic energy to overcome potential energy barriers. Finally, we can also use our robot as a physical model to test a very interesting biological hypothesis. As you see here, uh, the animal when it rides, due to a small asymmetry uh, of the wing opening between the left and right wing, would often uh, start rotating outside the vertical or sagittal plane. So we hypothesize that maybe the asymmetric wing opening gives the animal some advantage. To test this hypothesis, we can then open the left and right wing of the robot asymmetrically. And what we found is that the robot sometimes fails sometimes writes successfully, and in addition, the robot can even underwrite or overwrite. And experimentally, we then measured 
the average writing probability of the robot as a function of the left and right wing opening, as you see here. Uh, what we found, very surprisingly, is that when the wing opening magnitudes are small, uh, as shown in the bottom left quadrant of this figure, you can see that writing probability is actually higher for asymmetric opening as compared to symmetric wing opening. What this suggests is that if you're an animal, when you get tired, or if you're a robot, when you run low on power, you cannot open your wings to a large magnitude. And in this case, you can actually take advantage of opening wings asymmetrically to increase your chance of writing. With that, I would like to thank many people who have helped in this project and our funding sources. My lab at Johns Hopkins is continuing to study this very interesting problem among many others. If you want to learn more, visit my lab page or contact me for more information. Thank you.